Hello everyone, Coffee here. Today I wanted to show off the draft format in um, Hearthrink. So we're going to go ahead and join a draft here and it's going to go ahead and start up. So first thing you're going to notice is that each pack starts with 20 cards. Um, we're going to have about 60 seconds to pick our first card. Um, each pack is going to be a randomly selected mix of uh, class cards and neutrals. So let's take a look at this first pack and see what we're leaning towards. So the strongest card I can see in the pack here is Flame Waker. Um, Dark Bomb is pretty strong as well, um, but I'm not sure if I necessarily want to commit to any specific class yet, but I don't see any neutral cards that are strong enough that I absolutely don't want to go about passing them. So. I'm just going to go ahead and probably take the Flame Waker. So you're going to notice here that if I just leave the, if I have something partially selected but I haven't actually fully selected it as my pick, um, that I will, um, when the timer runs out, it will go ahead and pick that card. Um, alternatively, you can just drag and drop the card um, in order to pick it. So. Um, once everyone has picked their card in pack one, or if the timer runs out, then I'll go ahead and move on to pack two. Um, one of the other things you may notice is these little yellow icons over the corner. Uh, this will notify you that you do not own that card in your collection. You'll only start to see these after running the collection import tool um, from within the Hearthrink client. And there's instructions how to do that on the website and from within the client as well. Um, so there's nothing here for mage, but we're going to go ahead and we're just going to take a harvest golem because nothing else seems that appealing to me. So there's a few general strategies you can follow when it comes to um, drafting. Um, you can kind of try to just stick with the strongest neutral card base that you can and not really commit yourself to any specific class early on. or you can try to pick a class and then just basically cut off every card for that class as early as you can to kind of disincentivize other players from choosing it as well. Um, so in pack one, the packs are all going to be passed to the left. So you're going to take your card, it's going to pass to the player sitting to your left, and then the cards are going to go in a loop that way. In pack two, they will go to the right, and then in pack three, they'll go to the left again. So one of the things you do want to pay attention to is um, the amount of class cards you're getting um, coming in your direction because it will kind of start to, it has the potential to tell you what classes players next to you are likely playing just because you'll start to notice trends of certain classes um, will have basically cards that, you know, they're all, they'll have a very subpar selection because someone next to you is taking the high quality cards for that class. So this pack here, again, there's nothing in Mage. Um, there are a couple other class cards, but at this point I feel comfortable enough trying to just force Mage as hard as I can, even though I haven't seen any Mage cards. Um, not necessarily suggested, but um, I'm going to test it out. For this pack I'm just going to take a Shredder because it's the best card in the back by far and it doesn't actually commit me to any class. So I'm going to go ahead and take the Shredder and then we'll see what comes in the next pack. So while I don't actually have animated armor, this is something I can craft. So it's something I still am going to want to take and then I'll just make sure that I craft it in game. And this basically will remind me that I do have to craft it in game if I am going to end up playing it. Um, so I'm going to stick with this for now and uh, we can continue to stick with the mage base and see if it works out for us. Oh. So while we don't have any secrets yet, Medivh's Valet is just a strong two drop. Um, it's something again, it fits the curve well and if we do end up picking up a few secrets then it will end up just increasing the value even more. So let's go ahead and take that. We're still just, we're going to cut off mage kind of so hard that hopefully we get into the scenario where um, any other player that is trying to play 
um, mage will kind of move off of it because they're not getting the cards or just basically end up in a scenario where they um, you know hopefully the cards are going through us first before them and we end up with the better half of them um, there's been quite a few warlock cards that have been coming through um, I mean, neither of these are too strong, but Mortal Coil is decent. Um, none of the neutral cards here seem like something that will likely make our deck. So I'm going to go ahead and take the Mortal Coil and just leave our options open in terms of other classes. And um, that way, if Mage doesn't end up working out for us, we do have a backup plan. So you'll notice there, um, since I didn't actually pick any card, it went ahead and picked a card for me, which ended up being Fool's Bane. Um, so in this pack, um, we can go ahead and take the Micro Machine. We can try to stick with uh, Mech Synergy and hope that we get something that will make our Mech Synergy even stronger. You'll notice the timer is getting shorter as each card comes through, um, just because, again, as each um, as each card comes through, um, basically there's less things to make a decision over, so it basically gives you less time to make the decision because it shouldn't be as hard. So we're going to take the Tinker Town just because, again, we did already pick up a few mechs, so we'll work on that. Normally I would take Haunted Creeper, but I think we'll actually have a decent chance of getting a strong mech synergy here. Alright, let's go ahead and take the flame juggler, I guess. Strong two drops are always nice. Um, they definitely come in handy. Another Harvest Golem. We can stick with the Harvest Golem or we can go with the Cult Master. Um, either one strong. Let's just take the Harvest Golem and let's see how crazy mech synergistic we can get. What do we got here? Let's go ahead and go with the. Uh, Earth and Ring Force here and see what else comes around. Probably should have taken the Archmage now that I think about it, but that was a rush decision. So what happens when you're trying to do commentary while drafting? You draft not very well. Either way, after we finish this first pack, I'm just going to kind of cancel this. This is mainly just to show you guys um, basically a sample of what the draft mode looks like, how it kind of runs, and you guys will be able to get a feel for it, um, and then check it out yourself. So somehow this animal companion's still here. I'm going to take it because I don't want to run into any more hovers. And you never know, we may end up in Mech Hunter or something after all. We only ended up picking a few mage cards, and we haven't actually picked up any spells for Flame Waker other than this one Dragon's Breath. Um, so trying to stick with this mech plan, might, or trying to stick with this mage plan might not even work out for us. But again, this is the wild um, draft format. If you are playing in the sealed draft format, um, you will end up having um, a different um, set of cards that are available to you. And um, I will go ahead and be making adjustments based on like timers and other things based on what people um, are saying. If like the timer is moving too fast for people um, or 
if other things are happening, then we can make adjustments as necessary. So starting in pack two here, again, more strong Shaman cards. Um, doesn't look like we end up getting anything in the uh, mage range here, but um, Ancient Lore used to be much better. And yeah, other than that, this entire draft is going to take a while, so I'm not going to bore you guys with that. Thank you for watching. If you have any questions, feel free to join up in Discord chat or check it out at hearthring.com. Thanks for watching. Hey everyone, thanks for watching. If you enjoyed what you saw and you want to see more Hearthrank content, please subscribe below and I'll continue to update this page with more information in regards to the Hearthrank tournament formats as well as new features and guides.